And welcome to Chef You Wack. I'm taking over for Bro You Wack since you guys hate him so much. He's a terrible chef. What are you doing? Uh, uh, Happy Thanksgiving, everybody, or as the rest of the world calls it, Thursday. For this episode of Chef You Wack, I want to do something special. But you see, every episode of Chef You Wack is special, as long as you're watching. <laughs> Except for you. There are still lots of recipes left to do in this book, but I have featured every single hero on Chef You Whack. But there's been one hero missing, and that's Hammond! You see, the problem with Hammond is that, uh, <laughs> he's a talking hamster. He doesn't really have, uh, what do you call it, uh, people food. One of his recipes is literally called hamster food. But then, <laughs> Hammond. They're just so adorable. He has a recipe called the cheese wrecking ball. I love this book. <laughs> so guess which one we're gonna be making today? Bofa. Bofa D's nuts. Ah! To make Hammond's hamster food. How many times do I have to tell you? Uh. First, we're gonna be making Hammond's hamster food. First, you're gonna need puff cereal, expired Lucio O's, the best spice known to man, sunflower seeds, sunflower seeds, P pumpkin seeds. Uh, extra thick rolled oats, white chocolate chip, raisins, uh, peanut butter, I, okay, I don't know about this one, Chief. Honey, but from the bear bottle, and of course the light skin version of brown sugar. That's also expired. Let's get a cooking! So, uh, like, it's just kind of... Move, move things out of the way here. And then we gotta combine all the dry ingredients together. Oh boy. This is probably the most ingredients I ever combined, and you think it would take a larger bowl, but no. Do I need to be using measuring spoons? Probably not. Am I gonna? Yes, because I'm a perfectionist. Now you have to use expired Lucio O's. If you don't, you're throwing. The number one spice in the game, ground cinnamon. Uh, hamster eats sunflower seeds? Okay. I've never seen a hamster eat pumpkin seeds. Oats? How many dry ingredients are there? White chocolate chip? Sure, why not? Raisins? Yay! Boy, Hammond, you sure are raising my blood pressure with this recipe. I wanna die! Well, that's convenient. Peanut butter! See, the funny thing is, I actually would die if I ate peanut butter, because I'm allergic. Now, y'all might come me weak for that, but guess who's not gonna fail No Nut November? Still not me! So if you really want to add peanut butter, go ahead. I, I don't care. Instead, we're gonna use the better half of peanut butter, the, the, the butter. The butter dog. Yo, pancakes, where's the butter dog at? And then just toss that around as if it was a salad. <laughs> I, I think that's well incorporated with each other. You got the cereal, you got the seeds, you got the, the seed. you got the raisins! Now the second step says that I gotta lightly butter this tin. But you wanna know the, you, you, you wanna know the funny part about all this? It's not why the ingredients, they just Blizzard, Jeff Kaplan, the author of the book. Maybe I don't have butter, huh? Do you ever think about that? Do you ever think about that? You remember the butter that we melted in the microwave? Of course you didn't, because I didn't show you. I can't give you all my secrets. Well, now what we're gonna do is pour the honey in next. This is gonna be a while. And then throw in some tightly packed light brown sugar. Get a wooden spoon. Ow, oh, that actually hurt. And mix. Wait, I was supposed to mix in the big bowl. Mix in the big bowl then! Oh, that is gonna be very, very sticky. <laughs> Alright, boys and girls, then comes the packing part. And no, I'm not talking about what I do to your mom! Ah! Alright, so we just kinda do this, spread it in, and then again, tightly pack it. If you crush some of the cereal, that's fine! I mean, my ex-girlfriend crushed my heart, and look at me now! I'm depressed! Then when we got it nice and... <laughs> Packed in, then we let it chill out for an hour. What does it mean by chill out? I don't know, but all I know is I'm putting it right next to my expired eggs, because that's where it belongs. Then let it sit for an hour. What do we do next? Let's do the cheese wrecking ball! Yay! And then for this, you're gonna need... <laughs> I forgot the onion! I'll be right back. That storm stork, I forgot the stupid onion! During this pandemic, it couldn't be me. Worst part about it is I lost my mask, so I had to wear this Overwatch League pride mask. I'm not even gay being in red state. This is dangerous. <laughs> I'm going home to make cheese. <laughs> All right, Hammond, what's the first step to making a cheese wrecking ball? In a food processor... I don't have a food processor. Yeah! Oh, but what I do have is what every single bachelor has in their home. 
a blender. So let's start by, uh, I, I, it crunchies. All right, so I don't have a knife, so we're just gonna Achoo! cut it with our God-given hands. But then here comes my favorite part, grating the cheese. That hurt. This is just a mountain of cheese. And then we need what we just drove to the store for, half an onion. Now just take a wild guess at how much onion we need. Not one tablespoon, not even two teaspoons. One teaspoon. Now listen, I'm not going to mince words with you, and I know I make that joke every single time I mince garlic, but bruh, this recipe already tilting me. Hammond is already a tilting hero as it is, so to make his recipe and then have to drive to the store twice, stop it, stop it. One teaspoon of garlic? No, it says we can blend everything by hand. Hammond, we have technology. This isn't working. Bruh. Maybe I do gotta do everything by hand. Mm -hmm. Maybe technology isn't as advanced as I thought it was. Mm -hmm. Get in the freaking pole. All right, Hammond, I'm doing it by hand. Are you happy? Are, are you happy? Hand man. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to be doing damp hands. Are you kidding? All right, Hammond, nice and wet, just for you. Then we go and handle your cheese balls. Awesome. This, this smells really bad. All right, once you get it semi all mixed together, then you gotta roll it out into a ball. Kinda like how Hammond rolls into a ball throughout your whole entire competitive game and he won't switch. Why? Because Hammond is so cute in his eyes and he's really good at it. Meanwhile, he's in bronze! All right, y'all, that's about the best that the cheese ball is gonna get. It looks very cute and pretty, actually. This is a nice little cheese ball. All right, let's let it chill. This plastic wrap is so broken. A nice, Little wrapped cheese ball. And then we're gonna go take it in the fridge and throw it in there for about, I don't know, an hour. And then in the meantime, we're gonna take our last and final bowl and mix the dry ingredients for this cheese ball. Cause the fun can't stop, no we can't. The two spoonfuls of sesame seeds in there. And then the poppy seeds are next. What even are poppy seeds? And then guess what? The rest of the garlic goes in too. Yay, yay. And onion? I guess. I oh, know, but you take a ladle and you just start crushing it because you don't have anything else to mix and crush this with. There we go, Ham, and there we go. Your seeds are mixed, your cheese is mixed, your hamster food is mixed. This better be the best hamster food of all time because if it's not, I'm gonna have a mental breakdown. I'm already am having a mental breakdown, but I'm having another one. One very long digestive tract later. All right, Hammond, this better be worth it. We got the cheese ball and the hamster food. I just realized this is probably for hamsters, not human, but I'm gonna still eat it. So we get the poppy seeds, the sesame seeds, just basically all the other hamster food goodness and roll it around in there. Continue to give it a nice toss, a turn, and a spin -a until you have a beautiful cheese ball. But no cheese ball is perfect without any quackers. And then put the cheese ball right there in the middle, but that's not all. Let's get the hamster food. I still can't believe we're calling this hamster food. All right, there's our hamster food. This looks awful. All right, so which one do we try first? Let's try the hamster food. You know what I just realized? This is basically just trail mix. Just seeds and cereal, it's falling apart. So let's take a nice little bite. Um, mm, 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 yep, yep, that's turtle mix. Mm. Um, so I don't know if there's any hamsters watching. Um, can you let me know if this is supposed to taste good? Because it's, it's not bad, it's just so much stuff. Like, that's the best way I can describe it. It's very sweet, very crunchy, very greasy because of the butter. It's an interesting taste nonetheless. Ooh, I can taste the raisins. Oh. I'm sure it'd be better with peanut butter, but I, mean, like, I know I say I want to die all the time, uh, but not that. That's gotta be the weakest way to go out. But uh, now comes the cheese ball. How the heck are you supposed to eat this thing? Gotta, like take a nice little chunk out. Eh. So we got a little chunk out of there, and then we got it on the quacker, so let's try this out. Um, mm. Oh, oh, uh, mm. Oh, that, that's cheesy. Oh, that, mm. Oh, that, oh, that's so cheesy. Well, I, I, mm. 
There's so much cheese in one tiny bite. I get it. It's cheese. It's a cheese ball. It's supposed to taste like cheese. But that is the most cheesiest cheese I have ever eaten. It's not bad, but if you like cheese, if you're from Wisconsin, you're gonna like this. I <laughs> oh, wow. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that. Oh. Yo, that's like a wrecking ball of cheese in my mouth. Get it? Because it's a wrecking ball. That's a lot of cheese, bro. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of cheese. Between these two recipes, I'm gonna be honest, I can't really decide which one I like more. I mean, both of them aren't bad, but I definitely wouldn't make both of them. But either way, whatever you decide to make this Thanksgiving, whether it's some hamster food or a cheese wrecking ball or even some turkey, there's still crackers falling! Make sure you have a happy and safe Thanksgiving. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And one thing I'm thankful for is that you guys watch me make these stupid videos and I'm able to live out my dream as a YouTuber, a streamer, a content creator. It really does mean the world, so I won't get too corny for the rest of this episode I will go but I love you guys thank you guys for watching happy Thanksgiving and more Overwatch videos to come bye